Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Moments before the Emmys began, Sean Spicer ran on stage and did the unthinkable. Sean Spicer may be out of the White House but apparently, that does not mean he is done being a star just yet. And the absolute last place you'd expect to see him or any Trump supporter, the Emmys, is where he made his big debut. Colbert was busy opening up the night with a much-expected Trump-bashing monologue along with a few women dressed as handmade tail go-go dancers. Then, out of nowhere Sean Spicer rolls out with a podium and declares, This will be the largest audience to witness enemies, period, both in person and around the world. Now, obviously, this is Spicer mocking his press conference defending Trump's inauguration crowd size. The question now is why? Don't get me wrong, it was super funny for him to show up, but does that mean he is a Hollywood insider, now? I'm gonna keep my hopes up and say that Spicer is just a funny guy with a great personality that even liberals cannot help but love. That, and he is and will always be an ally of President Donald Trump. One look at giant Trump rally video has Democrats everywhere screaming. Hundreds of Trump supporters gathered in Washington, D.C., on Saturday to show their love for the president and his administration. The event, called the mother of all rallies was held on the National Mall, appropriately in front of the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. Honestly this whole rally looked like so much fun, unlike leftist rallies which are so full of hate and violence. Democrats everywhere will be upset to see how Trump supporters manage to come together, wave flags, sing, dance, and be proud to be American, and proud to support Trump. Love Trump too? Share it everywhere. Right after a young boy mowed the White House lawn, Nit reporter did something insane. President Trump has a big fan in Little Frank Jack Show, a 10-year-old entrepreneur with his own lawn mowing service, who wanted to mow the White House lawn. Being an entrepreneur himself, President Trump invited him and his father up and gave him some business. President Trump said of Frank, future of the country right there. We're lucky. Honestly, this moment couldn't have been more sweet or perfect. Yet. As former New York Times reporter Stephen Greenhouse proves, there's always a leftist somewhere ready to complain. Frank was fine. He was being supervised literally by his dad, a camera crew, and the president himself. Leftists make a big deal out of every little thing and turn a cute story into something mean. Let's show some support for Frank and the president by sharing this 50,000 times. H.T. Fox News Trump's new nickname for Jim Jong-un will leave him crying on the floor. President Trump is known for his funny nicknames that describe his opponents to a T. Hillary Clinton is Crooked Hillary, Elizabeth Warren is Pocahontas, Bernie Sanders is Crazy Bernie, it goes on and on. Now he's finally picked one out for everyone's favorite despot, Kim Jong-un, and true to form, it is both funny and humiliating. That's right folks. Due to his proclivity to test nuclear warheads and generally be a threat to the entire world, Kim Jong-un's new nickname is Rocket Man. Kim Jong-un thinks that by being an unhinged nuclear power, he will somehow gain the world's respect. Unfortunately for him, respect is earned through promoting world peace and not enslaving your people in a communist dictatorship. President Trump's new nickname shows this dewey by Rocket Man that he's going to have to make some major reforms if he's ever going to be taken seriously on the world stage. These wacko people don't deserve our respect. President Trump is making sure they don't get it. Share this out so Rocket Man sees it loud and clear.
Trump just walked into the UN and said one word left them all speechless. President Trump told the UN that no country shall shoulder a disproportionate share of the burden and that's military or financially. President Trump said that we must ensure no country has to shoulder a disproportionate share of the burden. Wow! Did he finally tell the UN straight to their smirking faces that it's time for them to stop making the US take a disproportionate share of the burden? Share this everywhere if you think Trump is right. We need to make this country great again and we need to make the world great again and start paying their part for all the protection that the United States provides. Trump just gave hurricane survivors a huge surprise from his own wallet. President Trump has managed to be a man of his word since the day he took the Oval Office back on January 20. Love it or hate it, when the man makes a promise to the people, he comes through to the best of his power every single time. Just a week ago, he promised he was gonna give a million dollars personal donation to the hurricane victims. The media said he was bluffing. But look what just happened over the weekend. President Trump gave his promised $1 million to multiple charities that needed it. Now, what did I tell you? President Donald Trump gave his word that he was gonna donate that money and he donated every last cent. Still, this was not him trying to prove the media wrong. The president went and met with people from Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. He talked to them and heard their pain. This donation is for them and them alone. So we all know this is the point where the media bury this. You know, now that Trump came through? Help make that now happen by getting this shared around to everyone before they can. Right after SNL won four Emmys for Trump bashing, everyone noticed this weird thing. It's too bad that TV has become so hard to watch because entertainers have become so political. In yet another example of institutions leftists have ruined, Liberty Writers brings you, the Emmys. The Emmys award excellence in TV. During the ceremony, Saturday Night Live, which has spent the last year bashing Trump nearly every episode, won four Emmys. That's when every thinking person began to notice something. Hollywood and the entertainment industry are truly obsessed with President Trump and have totally gone over the edge with Trump hating. During his acceptance speech, Baldwin sarcastically thanked the president and dedicated his Emmy to him. McKinnon and Clinton are friendly and were even seen getting dinner around New York City earlier this year. You know, I miss the good old days where I could watch TV without being bombarded by hate for the president any president. When did everything have to become so political? And now the leftist institutions are all patting themselves on the back and giving themselves awards for it. whoop de doo Share this out if you support the president no matter what's on TV. Dolly Parton just marched onto stage at Emmys and did something unforgivable to Trump. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you all, I have no issue with people making jokes about President Trump. This is America and that's their right. However, what Dolly Parton did to the president last night at the Emmys was not a joke. The former queen of country music showed how far she had fallen when she, Lily Tomlin, and Jean Fonda used their little monologue to declare Trump a sexist lying, egotistical, bigot. Now, these ladies are all entitled to their opinion, however, their opinions are dead wrong in this case and we're entitled never to buy their crappy music and movies ever again. And, despite Dolly's lack of words, she knew full well what they were gonna say. It's all scripted. Still, she proudly stood with them. She had every chance to reject their vile words even after the show and did not. As a Tennessean myself, this makes me sad. Then entire Emmys tonight was just a big Trump bashing anyways. They used the whole thing to make jokes about him oppressing women like the Handmaid's Tale and to declare their support for the resist movement. Don't worry too much, though, folks. 
Hollywood is having their worst year in decades because of their blind hate for Trump and his supporters. We are not racist, sexist, bigoted, or any of that. We just want to see America succeed.